friends, well, I decided that I was going to try to do a drawing today. And I wanted to see how well my memory retained some of the things that I've learned over the years in drawing. And uh, I decided to do a calla lily, which is a very difficult flower to work with, actually. Well, it's been about over a year since I really did some kind of drawing that was worthwhile. And I haven't been practicing because uh, I can't get into my studio. It's chock a block full of things in there. Anyway, I decided to do a calla lily with pencil. Now, I have three pencils here. One has uh, got no mark on it. The lead is kind of medium soft. And the other two has number two. Uh, and it's, uh, they are soft lead, a little softer leaded. And what I did was, because I haven't done any practicing drawing for a long time, I decided that I would use an eraser, these white erasers, to uh, wipe out the wrong lines. Because I want to get it as well as I could in, from my memory. So, but if you got the black things like this on the, on the white eraser, you're going to mark up everything. Uh, dirty, you make it muddy, sort of. So you cut it off with something like this, you see. You be careful and cut it off cleanly and then use it again. And it's nice and clean. Now, usually, normally, before, I would take me, uh, it would take me about maybe 15, 20 minutes to do a drawing like this. But it took me an hour and a half today. And I really had to work. And uh, I erased the wrong lines, but I made sure I left them in so I could see in the future if I wanted to do this drawing or paint and make a painting of it, where I went wrong. And that's the only way you're going to learn if you want to learn to draw freehand. And basically, this is a cylinder. Uh, so a cylinder would be uh, like like this. This is a cylinder. So it would basically be a cylinder. Only thing it has shape. And uh, from the stem up to here, it's a cylinder, and then it flares out there. You could add something on the top and make it a half sear. But it's cut off, so it uh, it's, goes out in different directions and shapes. So what I did was just erase enough of the, the lines and left some there, enough there to show me what I did wrong and, and how I did wrong, went wrong in my, from my memory uh, of, uh, of drawing it. So this is, this is it. It's, uh, I didn't use any, uh, any uh, uh, filling in or anything. It's basically just a line. But I made sure that different places had lighter lines than others, like in the distance, so that it would give it perspective. Now, you would say, well, that's not so hard to draw. Well, it is. And uh, you have to really practice, practice, practice. And I, I started drawing by doing one part at a time of, of a subject and do it well and then uh, put the parts together. So it's, it's very important to practice because if you don't practice drawing, you're going to have trouble painting. Um, now, in the past, before, uh, I used to paint, when I used to paint, I never used to draw, I just used to express myself. And uh, some of the things that I worked with, of course, was, for example, this. Uh, this is one here. It's um, peaches with a, uh, a plum. It's kind of big. It's uh, one of my own styles. It needs some varnish on it, though, because it's drying now. and. Uh, it's, it's really, uh, you know, uh, needs to be brought out, the colors and stuff. And uh, all the white there, you see, that would show right up for as soon as you varnish it. And then I did also an, an, another one, a calla lily. I wanted to do a painting. Now, there, this, this is only the blossom uh, with no leaves, just a stem. But I did a painting 
of, of three calla lilies in a pot. And um, this I did um, uh, quite some time ago, two, two, three years, two years, four years ago. And um, I did it with paint. First I did the drawing and got the shapes and stuff. And uh, then did the, with the paint. And of course the calla lilies have large leaves and so forth. So that gives you an idea that from this painting and the drawings I did from this painting, I was able to do this drawing in my memory. That's quite a few years ago. But I made a lot of mistakes uh, in my elliptical, for example, I made mistakes. And uh, here, uh, you know, wherever you see the marks here that uh, I had to rub them out with the eraser and do it over. So if you want to try and, and draw, uh, learn to draw, you got to draw and draw and draw. And with this one, I drew these things over and over. Not on this canvas, but I drew this is oil. I drew this over and over and over, started at the top and did the bottoms and, and the leaves and so on until I could I knew what I was doing. And then I painted it. I did I put my drawing onto the canvas and uh, then I painted it. So it's it's really a matter of practicing, a matter of doing, a matter of wanting to do it, liking to do it. Uh, if you have a problem, like with a sore arm or something, and you can't find, you feel you can't lift your arm to paint, downsize. Make your make your canvases so you can hold it in your hand and paint. So that's my little art lesson for this time to update that particular playlist. I hope you enjoyed this and uh, I would have liked to have done it, uh, you know, over there, but it would take too long and uh, because it's the uh, computer takes a long time to download or to upload. So I hope you will try that and, and uh, keep this in mind. And then after you get your drawing done, paint your, your calla lily. And usually they got it's darker on the top here and you know the different colors and stuff. And as you see in here, where's the where this one here has dark red here and then the yellow greenish on the bottom coming down. And then there's a little sort of little colored in there. There are different kinds. But they're very difficult to draw. They're not difficult to paint because when you got paint, it's different. You're working with something that you can spread around. So with drawing, especially a line drawing like this, you got to make sure that some of your lines are difficult to see. So that it's got to be in the background to push everything back, to give it the, the object some, some volume, some, some you know, uh, perspective. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.